How's it going, everybody? It's me, scout -san. I'm here to create a very brief video in an effort to post it to my um, GoFundMe uh, campaign. And I feel that I'm going to make it as succinct as possible. My name is Scott Force Pulsifer. I'm known as scout -san. Some places I'm known as Hanzo Guy in the Twitch community. Um, and I am the founder of a small group of individuals known as the Redwood Samurai. Founded it in 2001, and we've been growing ever since. Uh, very slowly, but more so, it has picked up speed in the last four years. Uh, I've taken on some students. I've trained some students. Some students have gone off to do pretty incredible things for themselves, finding themselves um, and it, this has all been cultivated and done through kendo, iaido, arts, crafts, the engagement of school events like talent shows, school rallies, uh, and there's so many other things that I know we can do. And there's things that I've been developing in the last three years since I stopped working at the after-school program that I used to i uh, be employed for. And so I'm putting in a proposal for the after school program here in Georgetown, Texas for GISD. I also put in a proposal for the Boys and Girls Club after school or, or even during summer, you know, they have summer camps there too. So what I'm trying to do is create a place where students can train in Kendo and Iaido. I'm trying to create a place where students can come and learn. They can learn about themselves. They can learn about life. Okay, We're going to have so many books that we're going to be teasing out little anecdotes and uh, you know quotes from and, and write about it, discuss it, and just get a better understanding of what is, right? Not just ourselves, but of all things. And it's all going to be backed up by Kendo and Yaido. Primarily, it's probably going to be backed up by Kendo. To me, it's more simple, yet more difficult than Yaido because it's basics. You have to get down the basics before you can get anywhere. And that's what um, I, myself, am going to continue to work on. Um, I hope that if anybody has questions or is asking, you know, why I'm, you know, raising these funds, that I can answer them here. So I, I want to raise the amount of funds that I'm requesting, the 5,400, because I'm gauging that based off of what income I might be able to generate within the first true goal of mine, which is to have 30 students per school, per junior high. At a rate of probably about you know 35, 40 bucks. Okay, that should equal about 5,400. And what I want to do with those funds is purchase gear for each one of those schools. I want one gear, one piece of gear, one set of bogu per school. I want to purchase nothing shy of four or five shinai per school. I already have my own set of armor, so that I can at least have one other person for right now sparring against me. Or, or for, for me to demonstrate a strike on. I, I mean, I could do it and have them wear my armor. I could do that right now. But I want to provide this program with enough materials to get it started, to get it started the right way. I need armor. I need Shinai. There's some things that I have already set aside for arts and crafts that will be more than easy to satisfy the probably the unquenchable thirst of the students. I have plenty of books. I don't even need books right now. I, I've got what I think I need there because I don't necessarily need to have all of that on hand at every location. You know what I mean? So much of the expense would go towards having gear that I didn't have to cart around that's bulky, the armor, the 
a Shania. These are more expensive items that I can't fund myself until one, the program accepts, accepts me and we start getting students. Two, I find people who are willing to invest in a program that's going to help the students know more about self-awareness, find their place within the community, amongst their peers, how to develop a sense of self-respect, uh, respect for others and their elders, their um, instructors, their parents, their siblings, and really kind of just become an all-around mindful person, all through the practition of Kendo and Iaido. Basics, very basic stuff. Basic tenets. I mean, we're going to be pulling stuff from this book here, which is the Definitive Guide to Kendo. Okay? Very basic stuff. There's some stuff in here that even I don't quite know to the T. So it's going to be, you know, a bit of a learning curve for me too, because I'm going to be reading through it as homework for myself. I'm going to be reading through Musashi's Book of Five Rings again teasing things out of there, writing it in my journal, figuring out what kinds of things that I want to slowly divulge to them over the course of the school year. I mean, the list goes on. You know, I mean, I've got high performance habits. This is going to be a huge one for them, I'm sure, because there's good stuff in there for them to, to know and practice and um, expand on, right? And, th and that's one of the reasons why on my business card, it states that what, what my vision is, my goal, right, my mission is changing tomorrow through the youth of today. I'm going to get old. I have two sons, and there's plenty of other students out there, underage students, who are going to be the leaders of our world when we can no longer take care of it, when we can no longer show them the way. That's why I'm here on this planet. This is why I believe that I'm in existence, is to be in the service of helping others find the best version of themselves. And I believe that I have cultivated a stronger self through Kendo and Yaido. So, and one of the reasons why I'm, I'm expanding on the, the GoFundMe campaign is because I got called today to set up an interview for um, one of the schools, one of the junior, junior uh, high schools, with the principal and the after school program coordinator. And so I'm sitting here creating some stuff uh, that I think that I would need to take into the interview or to simply have in the Prezi presentation to show them. Um, I want to take some stuff so they can touch, feel it, kind of determine whether or not they think it's safe or what have you, and kind of go from there. Um, and be able to answer any of their questions either beforehand, which is going to be in the Prezi. I'm going to try and tackle as many things as humanly possible in a very short period of time, no longer than two and a half to five minutes. It's, the Prezi is going to just blow through some information. It's going to show them everything that I think that I'd be able to provide to them, including the, the training. What kind, right? Kendo, Yairo. I mean, there's other things we have that I have uh, thanks to, you know, some other supporters within the Redwood Samurai and other supporters outside of the Redwood Samurai. Like LARPing, we have foam weapons and stuff. I want to, you know, contribute the books, the arts and crafts portion. I think that being able to create things helps you understand how much power you have as a human being. How much influence you can have on other people not over other people, okay, mind you, but in in correspondence with other people, just by having the ability to have the mind to create, to to have that that ability to question. Okay, there's something that needs to be created. Can I help with that, or can I can I add to that? Can I can I make that better? Is there a faster way, a more efficient way? To create that, to, to, to bring it about, to make it come to fruition. So I feel 
I need some monetary backing from as many people who believe in martial arts, who believe that there is a value in training in the martial arts, in learning the philosophies, in community involvement, um, arts and crafts. If, if you want to see a program succeed, if you want to see a program that's going to have a lasting impression on the youth, I truly believe and have believed since I even started dabbling in Japanese philosophy and training, etc., etc., since 2001 and before, that I knew one day I would be creating something, a place, an idea that would be growing and would continue to grow even after I was gone. And I know that, and it's already happening because of the students that come back to me years later, and they say, scott san thank you. And they, they even call me sensei, and I, I ask them not to do that because I, I'm not, I don't consider myself sensei. I haven't been given that rank, that title. But they are trying to show me respect, and I understand that. And so I thank them for that. I say thank you. Then, of course, I reiterate, hey, like this is the reason why sensei are called sensei, etc., etc. So I'm always backing up the reason why sensei are called sensei or, or anything that's, there's a purpose behind it. You know, I say, if you're going to call me anything, you know, call me kohai. Call me uh, senpai at the very most, right? You know, just, what I was told about senpai was <clears throat> it means the one or those who came before you. Essentially, they've just been practicing longer than you. And that's what I truly believe all kendo practitioners are. We're all kohai when we are in the dojo. We are all under someone who is giving us direction. We are equal as human beings, but not in time put in. There's a young man um, who I train with who is a... And he is like Captain America of youth kendo. I, I think he's 18 now. But th this, this man is incredible at how much time he puts in to kendo, how good his form is because of the time he puts into kendo, and his ability to adapt, to learn more, right? To, to invoke a sense of understanding that there's more to kendo than the years that he's already put in. And, and knowing that kendo is a long process, it's a lifelong process of practicing the basics, trying to master the basics, evolve into your body as you grow and, and grow older or, or become better at them. Okay, you have to evolve, you have to roll with it. I'm, I'm just saying that it's incredible. It's incredible to see what kendo does to people outside of myself. It's incredible to see what it has done to me. And I know that I can bring that with the help of other people who are willing to come and speak to the students as uh, speakers, uh, even co-founders of the Redwood Samurai. Bring that to the students, to the faculty, to the parents of the students who want to show up. Make it a family thing. Make it a community thing. We are here to be the best versions of ourselves. And I'm here to ensure that each individual person who walks through my door, whether I'm owning it, renting the space, or out in the park, anyone who comes to me that they are an individual. They have dreams, they have aspirations, they have goals, and I want to help them. 
and this is how I'm going to do it through Kendo, through Iaido. As the founder of the Redwood Samurai, this is what I'm here for. I'm here for you, I'm here for your family, I'm here for mine and your community. Let's make it happen. This is the one only Scott the Sun. If you need anything, please reach out, ask, find me on social media, look up Scott the Sun, S K A T T O S A N, Scott the Sun, and you will find me. In any case, I will catch you guys all on the flip side. Jamata.